Hi guys, this is again Pramit Kumar Sarabhati. I welcome you to my news and uh, tips and tech series of JDNT. So in this particular week's JDNT tips and trick, I'm going to again explain you more detail about why JDNT you use. Just I will recap it. So the tighter tolerance which you are trying to achieve through the general tolerancing is pretty you know difficult to achieve that because of the a square tolerance but JDNT gives you a round tolerance zone and more precise with the communication between the design the manufacturing and inspection is not that much easy and you never use a single language for communicating and time to market that is the product launching is also pretty difficult because of the JDNT it is more accurate and time to market can be predicted with mathematical accuracy or you can say precision and more precisely you can say as this is a single language and common language the communication medium for any domain that will be manufacturing design or inspection is a single point of communication and orienting communicating for locating the parts as we use typically for the assembly so this is one of the important part. So let me precisely showcase you. If you see this is particular a part you are going to manufacture here, you have a couple of holes, you have straight edge, and you have, can see here this is a flat surface, you have a curvilinear interface here, you have a chamfer, and typically you can see you have a thickness here. So if you try to manufacture this or maybe you have a particular round shape of it where you have multiple holes, a center alignment, and here you have again hole alignment where you will assemble it, and here you can see a slot where you need to understand. So where to start and how to apply that, that also will be unfolding through the datum feature and how to fix the datum from where sort uh, where we need to start which will be my datum and all this I'm going to explain you if typically you see this is the primary part where you are going to assemble this particular part and maybe in this particular way we are going to assemble it so this is the side I'll keep it. So when you assemble it, lots of variation you see, maybe with respect to this surface, maybe with respect to this surface, or maybe with respect to this back surface. And also during the positioning of this hole, each diameter also can get varied. And what about the flatness of each edge, each surface, wherever you have the locating or meeting part. So this could be a, you know, the faulty manufacturing where you could result like this, or maybe in another case, you can have a like this surface where you have the variation, maybe in this corner where the locating or the fixing point will vary like this. So if you don't know exactly about the datum and orienting concept, this could be a probable outcome, or maybe you can get like this so where well, this may get fitted but this corner sir you can see exactly this is matching but this way this deviating and this deviating so this could be of any nature and where you will get the ambiguity during the manufacturing and communication and because of all this what you need to concept is this is the primary pair where you do your gauge design with respect to which you are going to do it. So we'll try to understand this from the nitty gritty and step by step how to do and what all different points we need to keep in mind and that we'll see. So before understanding and going through this, you see the interpretation because of the JDNT always done in one way between the design, manufacturing and inspection and is having a single meaning across the, you know, whoever it may be, maybe the design, maybe the manufacturing team, 
maybe the inspection table. And you didn't in effect what it does is so you have a proper checklist what to do, what not to do, and it reminds the designer that to consider a particular aspect during you know the modeling or designing the particular structure and then we go for the next step and how to do that as far as the orienting and positioning and all aspects are concerned. So if you see the PSME Y14.5 GDNT series, you will see precisely the control for the, the form control, you have a typical control for orientation, you have a control for location, you have a control for runout, and you have a control for the location specific orientation also. So if you see the all this five different type of communication in orienting and locating and positioning, and that may be a flatness, that may be a cylindricity, that may be a runout, but primarily you communicate and when the component will get fitted, they should communicate and they should must have a single meaning while doing that. So thank you for watching this series and subscribe to my channel and in my coming series I will be releasing more and more interesting concept and understanding about GDNT. Thank you.